Hi there, we're looking at G Suite for Education and in particular we're going to look at using a Google site as a learning portfolio that students can gather and collect their learning on uh, in order to share that with teachers, parents and whoever else wants to see it. So we're in Google Drive at the moment, that's the place where you've got unlimited storage as a Google for Education user. If we go to New, More and you should see Google Sites is one of the options there, which opens up Google's collaborative website making uh, platform. So I'm going to make a portfolio for this student here. Um, so we could edit collaboratively if we wanted to. invite someone else to uh, edit the site as we go. So let's first of all start with a welcome message here. So I'm just going to move that bit of text over so it takes up half of the page and then we're going to add an image in. So you can do a search here and again for the students this is safe search and all the images that will come up are um, labelled for reuse so there's no issue with copyright infringement if this is a portfolio that's being shared outside of the school. Um, so I'm going to go with this image here and I'm just going to close it up so it's the same size as my text. There we go. I'm just going to change the image in the background here there's a few different ones that you can choose from uh, so let's just go with that one for now and you'll see that these stars will start to twinkle away and it will adjust both the image and the text in order to make it uh, as easily readable as possible so there's a the beginning of our um, of our portfolio the beauty of a Google site portfolio is that any content that is in your Google Drive is easy to embed into the site. So it might be that through Google Classroom, Sean has been doing a number of different tasks and he can embed any of those quite easily into his site. There's no danger of the wrong people seeing these if they go to his portfolio. If this document isn't shared with someone then they're not going to see it. So for example, through Google Classroom, this document here will not be shared with Sean's uh, other, the students in his class. So if they went to his portfolio, it would just they wouldn't be able to see that document because it's not shared with them. So he could add a few extra pages to his portfolio as well. So here, there's an opportunity for the student to put also links in as well. So if there's a site that relates to uh, their area of interest, then they can add in that link there as well. And in some cases, you can have a preview of the page come up as well. So if we just go with this one here, So if I wanted to change the text on the, on the site, I can drag over it and adjust it to be a heading. I can even make the panel that that text is in 
slightly uh, different colors, but you'll notice it's all on a particular theme. So if I move over now to themes, there are several different themes to choose from, which all come with their own color palette. So you can choose within a certain range. For corporate sites or for school sites, you can add a logo. And when you add a logo, it will pick out the colors from that logo and they will be incorporated as ones that you can choose within a theme as well. So back to pages. Um, I don't want to have lots and lots of pages start to list over here. So I'm going to move my aspirations underneath home and you create this drop down like that. And as you add more pages, you can choose what level they go on, just as you'd expect to do with any normal site. So this is Sean's site. It's got a couple of pages on it and it's got some information embedded from Google Drive. So once Sean is happy, you can always preview it to see what it would look like on a normal large desktop screen, on a tablet or on a phone. Um, and Google Sites is adaptable to the device that it's working on. And when he's happy, he can publish. You have to make sure that this name is not taken by anyone else in the organization. You can restrict it to only show to people within the organization or anyone on the web. At any point you can unpublish as well. So if there's anything that you change your mind about, then you can unpublish and it won't be out there for everyone to see. So now we have a site that is shared amongst the community in the school that Sean can continue to edit. And if you remember earlier, I invited someone else to edit as well, which means that anyone else he's sharing the site with can also start to edit it as well. At this point though, it's down to Sean to click on publish for that to go live. So if we go to view publish site, it does not include the edits that were just added by Ben. And only the owner of the site can choose to publish and have those edits reflected live on the live website. So that's a quick introduction to how Google Sites can be used as a learning portfolio or even obviously as a class page or a school page.